South African opposition leader Julius Malema has called on young Zimbabweans to rise up against President Emerson Mnangagwa, arguing that only they can prevent the ZANU-PF leader from extending his rule beyond constitutional limits. Malema, the leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters EFF, delivered a lecture at Rhodes University on security and good governance in Africa, where he expressed his strong disapproval of Mnangagwa's leadership. He claimed that Mnangagwa's deputy, Constantino Chiwenga, who led the military coup that toppled Robert Mugabe in 2017, is severely weakened and unable to stop the 81-year-old's reported quest for a third term. The Zimbabwean youth must rise because that nonsense will never come to an end as long as there is no unity of purpose against the tyranny, against the suppression of political wishes of Zimbabweans. Malima stated during his lecture, Malema also criticized African leaders for failing Zimbabwe by being over-friendly with its leaders, even as they denied political space to rivals and steal elections. He highlighted the need for a clear resolution from SADC with specific timelines for change. When you ask what is the resolution, no one has taken a resolution. We need a clear resolution from SADC which gives clear timelines that by this time this should have happened. Otherwise, Mingagwa is going to come back and he has nothing to offer at all, Malima said. He believes that only the power of the youth of Zimbabwe can change the political status quo and urge the large Zimbabwean diaspora in South Africa to take action. Go and fight from there. It's high time that you take it upon yourselves to organize so that we know that at least you're also doing something, he said. Malima's call for action comes as Mnangagwa prepares to assume the rotating SADC chairmanship during a summit in Harare on August 17. This summit takes place amid diplomatic tensions with Zambia and the lingering controversy surrounding the disputed election a year ago. In the lead-up to the summit, Mnangagwa has rounded up over 100 political dissidents, accusing them of planning protests against his rule during the visit of regional leaders. Umningagwa is currently in his second and final term as president, but his supporters have launched a campaign to scrap the two-term limit imposed by the Constitution. He insists he has no such ambitions. However, his justice minister, Ziambi Ziambi, told the Daily News that if the majority of the people want Umningagwa's term extended, the law can be amended to reflect their wishes.